Hey y'all, this is Dina. Welcome to my channel. Okay, so I am back today with craft fair idea number eight. Um, I thought about what my next idea would be and I had not written this one down and I started kind of looking through Pinterest and different ideas and I thought, you know what, I'm going to make designer or decorative looking envelopes and sell them as sets. It's not going to be stationary sets. That'll be in a different video. But these are just going to be the fun big envelopes that you could put treats in. You can use them for mailing. Put some shred inside. It would just be so cute. They would be so cute. So anyway, let me show you what I have made so far. Now I am going to package these in sets of four. So let me show you. Um, which sets are going to go together. So these are going to go as a set. And as they, you see, they were out of my Valentine pad. So I really thought that these were really cute. I think that this paper is by Authentique. But anyway, I believe I got this at Tuesday morning, but I thought it's so cute. So I'm going to sell like these four and I'm going to wrap them in a ribbon. And I think before my craft fair, I will make some tags to add to them. That way then it comes with the tag or a sticker to go with it as well. But anyway, so here's of the first ones. This is, comes out of the same paper pad as well. See here. These are also double-sided. This one come out of my Girls Rule paper pad by DCWV, I believe. Got it at Joanne Fabrics. So these will be as a set of four. I got some Christmas ones that I did. And these are just one-sided, but those are the same paper pad as well. And those will be a set. Okay. Got another Christmas set right here. This is a different paper pad. It was one of the hot buys. I can't remember the name of it, but I got it at Michael's. It was one of the hot buys for like $5.99 after, you know, last year. So anyway, these will go together. This one is one of my paper pads that I've had a very long time. It was like the last four sheets of paper I had in there, but this one is double sided. And I thought those were pretty cute. And these are going to be a set as well, and they're Christmas themed. Now, I am going to do some smaller ones as well, but this is what I've got made so far as far as this size. But you know what, y'all? I really think, look, you open it up, and this is so much room in there. Let's see if you can see that. So much room in there. You could put some shred in there. You could really put some really neat treats. I went ahead and I added a white a row of white um, sticky strip here and all you gotta do is peel it. I don't know what that's called. But anyway, it's sticky when you peel it off and it'll seal it right on up. And this right here is sealed really well as well. So anyway, you won't have to worry about having to tape it up or whatever unless you just want to. But yeah, those are really cute. I really like those. So anyway, then they've been so fun to make. Okay, so my last set is going to be this Mickey set right here. And I went ahead and I made, I've made the four here, but I'm gonna make one on, on camera as well. So anyway, these will also be a set and I will wrap them up with some really cute ribbon and add some tags to it. I, I just haven't made the tags yet, but I'm really thinking that that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so let me quickly show you how to make these envelopes. Y'all, this is gonna be one of the quickest, quickest, quickest things to make for your craft fair you can mass produce these like I just made all these like in an hour it was so fast okay so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to score this at three and then eight and seven eight point seven five or eight and three fourths you're gonna flip it and you're gonna score at one inch on each end there's no cutting involved, y'all. No cutting involved. Okay. Okay, I am gonna do one quick cut because when I ripped it out of the paper pad, it's got a perforated edge and I don't want that on there. So I'm gonna just trim that off, just like, like a sliver. Just get that off of there. Okay. 
Now, you won't need your cookie, you won't need this anymore. So now you've got your four score lines. One inch on each, on each, the top and bottom, and then the two sides is three, and then eight, eight and three fourths. Just remember, if it's directional, the top and bottom, you just make sure your top and bottom is going correctly, okay? If that makes sense. So let me just show you quickly how we fold this and get put it together. So I'm gonna fold it on the score lines. This Disney paper or this Mickey paper was not double-sided. I wished it was, but I have another one that's double-sided, but I wanted to, I'm gonna try to start using my paper pads instead of hoarding them so much, so. Okay, so I've got my folds. So now what you need to do is on the top and bottom, like where your one inch is, you're going to cut at that, the score line, but just over a little bit at an angle. Going up to the score line and then out here, instead of cutting this off, you're gonna go up about maybe half an inch or a little less and cut to the score line. So it's gonna look like this. So I'm gonna do it on all four sides. And got that. And like that. Just if you don't get them totally even, you can trim it up. But nothing's perfect. So anyway. Okay. So let me get the top one and then we'll be moved. I'll show you how to get this together. I'm going to trim over to the score line. I'm going to cut into the score line and then up about a half an inch or a little less to the score line. So it's going to look like this. Okay? So use your bone folder and give this a good, give it a good crease. And make sure that at least the top, they match up. This one looks like it's a little bit taller to me, so I'm going to trim this one just a sliver. Just because I want it to meet up at the center of, the f of where I'm folding it. Okay. So when I do that, I'm going to do it this way. That looks... That, that's going to look pretty good. See, that's pretty good right there. Okay, so I'm going to not worry about that. You know, if the bottom is not totally perfect, it's all good because it's going to go under underneath your, your flap anyway. Okay, so I'm using my art glitter glue. Uh, hopefully my art glitter glue doesn't glue and dry up on me. Okay, there we go. We're in business. Okay. Doing my, doing a line of art glitter glue. Give it a good fold over. Now I want to make sure, because there was one side that is a little bit longer when it folds in than the other. Make sure you're kind of getting it where your seams meet in the middle. Okay, so make sure it's not like, like the long side is over here. You want to make sure it's semi in the middle the best you can. Okay, you can use art glitter glue for the bottom. And on all these others, I've just been using my red tape, my double-sided red tape, to seal the bottom. Because you want to go ahead and go ahead and seal the bottom. That way, that's all done. And then whoever purchases these or uses these envelopes, all they got to do is seal the top. And they are done after they put whatever they want in there. Okay? So now I've got my envelope. There you go. Y'all, isn't it, aren't these just so cute? Okay, last but not least, I'm gonna use some of this white little tear and tape. I guess that's what this is called. And I'm just gonna put a strip of it on the top and leave the, the tape on there. That way then, whoever purchases it, they will, all they have to do is peel that off and just stick it together. And there you go. That is the fastest fastest way to make these envelopes and these are a good size for you to put some good stuff in there you could even use these kind of envelopes to mail to a pen pal or to a friend or just give some put some 
some something really cute in there, a nice big card or just anything. But as you see, it was made out of one 12 by 12 piece of paper and they're super cute. And so now I could, if I wanted to do sets of five, I could add this one in and I've got a nice envelope set and they're just so cute. So anyway, just remember, I'm gonna wrap these up with ribbon and I'm gonna also attach tags with these before I put them in my craft fair. And I really haven't decided how much I'm going to sell them for. I'm thinking I might do two or three dollars for a set of four. I think that that would be a good good, good price. Um, let me know what you think. Get, leave me a comment below if you think that that's a good price or maybe I should go a little bit higher on that. But I'm thinking, I'm thinking even two fifty or maybe three dollars or two sets for five. That would be good too. I don't know. I've got a little time to think about that. So, anyway, well, I hope that you enjoyed this idea, and I hope that you give it a try. And um, anyway, until my next video, I'll be back soon with craft fair idea number nine. And until then, I guess I'm gonna see you later. I'll see y'all later. Bye, y'all. Oh, and play! Don't forget to subscribe. I'd really like you for. I'd really like it if you could subscribe to my channel. I'd really, really appreciate it. Anyway, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.